probability and we are doing part one where we're going to learn some new words terminology now i would suggest you really make sure you understand these first parts the parts that still look simple because it gets harder and it's usually because you didn't really get these first things that the rest gets harder. So please make sure you get the basics. The word tells you probability is that we think what will probably happen. And I see I wrote the word wrongly here, right? Probability, not probability. Probability. What it would probably happen is what we're saying. It fits in with your data because mathematicians don't like the vagueness of the probability. So we like to put a number to it. And in order to put a number to it, we use statistics. So we use stuff that's already happened to decide what we think might probably happen in future. So here's some words we need to know. An experiment is a process, an action, a process with uncertain outcomes. Okay, so as an idea, if I go around and I smile at everybody and I want to see if they automatically smile back at me, then I'm doing an experiment. Um, but I don't know if they will smile back at me, so it's uncertain. They could think I'm crazy or they could think I'm trying to be funny and just get angry with me. So I would go and I would write down the results for each person or for each, each time I did the experiment. An outcome is one of those results, a single result of an experiment. So the first person I go to, I see if they smile, I take a note of the reaction, that is an outcome. The sample space is the set of all possible outcomes. So as in when I smile at the people, one possible outcome is they smile back. Another one is they ignore me. Another one is they frown at me, etc. We call the sample space capital S. And then NS, sorry, this is not over, NS is number of possible outcomes. How many? Okay, so S is the set. So S you would write what could happen. N S would mean how many did I get? An event is a subset of a sample space. And usually an event is something that I choose. So I could choose to say, I want to see how many smile back at me. So the fact that, that they smile back is an event. Or I could make more than one thing an event. So I can say um, event one is people smile or they look happy even though they don't smile. So that's 
consists of two outcomes. And the event is called E, and similar we can say N E is the number of elements. Um, and then last thing, probability. Let's see if I get it right this time. Probability of an event. We would, I'm just going to say we would write it like that. So read this. The probability of event E happening. What are the chances that event E will happen? And that is taking not so notice the difference between the P and the N. The probability of event E happening is how many times did I get that reaction over all the possible outcomes.